Facebook ads are one of the best way to find new fans and get them over to your Spotify page and turning them into followers, saving your song, and just listening to your music in general. Over the past two releases, I've ran Spotify conversion campaigns that have ran me anywhere from 20 cents to 30 cents per click. So this means that every single person that goes ahead and clicks on my Spotify page, it's only costing me about a quarter to do this, which to me is really, really cheap. Anywhere between 20, 30 cents seems like a really good deal. And some days this has only cost me 10 cents depending on my ad rates and the specific ad that I'm running. So today I wanna show you the target audience that I've been going after. This is gonna work really well if you already have a decent social media following. And I'm not talking about having tens of thousands of followers, I'm talking about just being engaging on Instagram. People who are commenting on your posts, in your DMs, liking your posts, visiting your page, all of these things are really gonna help with this audience that we're gonna be targeting. So let's jump into the computer and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, my name's Cody. Hello. If you like music related content just like this, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. I post weekly and if you like this video, be sure to hit that little thumbs up, make it blue, really helps out me and my channel. So let's jump into it. You'll see right here, the past two campaigns that I've ran for songs have ran me about 21 cents up to 30 cents per conversion. And this is a really, really good rate to me. As I said, some days it's been as low is 10 cents. If I go to today, uh, I'm looking at about 18 cents. So these only get cheaper with time as you go forward. But the key comes down to my ad sets and my target audience. Right here, I am targeting an Instagram lookalike audience. So what this is, is basically anybody who follows me on Instagram or more importantly engages with my Instagram account, I've created a lookalike audience of these people. So basically they look for other people with similar traits. So they like similar pages engage with similar things. And so these are most likely people who would also be interested in my page. For example, if they like the artist 21 Pilots and Black Bear and Machine Gun Kelly, and those are all what people who follow and engage with my Instagram page like, it's gonna target those people as well because they're more likely to like my page and like my music than anybody else in the world. So by doing some of the work up front, I'm narrowing down the amount of work that Facebook has to do. They don't have to look through all the two billion people that use Facebook. They only have to narrow it down to a select few. I think this total target audience is about 14 million people, so they have a good selection of people to pick from that are probably gonna like my music. Now, let me show you how to create this target audience. First thing you're gonna have to do is go to your business manager on Facebook, that's where I am right now, facebook.business.com, and you're gonna have to click on these little dots and go over to audiences. Now, once in audiences, you're gonna go create new audience and go custom audience. So here, we're gonna click on Instagram account, select your Instagram account, and you'll see right here where the people that we're gonna be targeting is anybody who's visited our account, has engaged with a post or one of our ads, sent us a message, or saved one of our posts. I like to leave this at 365 days, so basically anybody who's engaged with the page in the last year, and this is gonna help to populate my audience. Now, you go ahead and name it whatever you want. I've already created this one, so I'm not gonna create a new one, but you'll see right down here, I have my IG engagement. Now, the size of this is 5,600 people, which is actually pretty decent. When I made this about a month ago, it was only around 2,000 people, so I've over doubled how many people have been engaging with my page, and this is mainly because of the ads. I've got a ton of people to like my posts and I've been sending messages and I've been all in those DMs trying to get people over to Spotify to listen. So it does take a little bit of work on your end and you're gonna wanna make sure that prior to setting up one of these target audiences and running these ads that you put in the work ahead of time and really make sure that you give Facebook as many people and as much information as possible. So make sure you're posting regularly, you're in the comments trying to get people to comment on your stuff and engaging in the DMs as well. You gotta make sure that you're messaging people and keeping all that up because it's gonna make it work out so much better for you. Now, one mistake that people make is they'll only target these people, but these are already people who follow me or engage with me. So I don't wanna be targeting these people actually. What I wanna be targeting is people who are like this people, a lookalike audience. So we're gonna need to create one more audience. We're gonna go up here to create and we're gonna create a lookalike audience. Now we are gonna need to select our existing source which is the IG engagement, the one that we just created, and select your audience location. I normally put in every single country on Spotify. So if you just Google uh, Spotify countries, you'll get a huge list of them, and I will go ahead and copy and paste all of them in here. We're talking United States, uh, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Brazil, Chile, Canada, uh, Germany, France, the list goes on and on. I think there's almost 50 countries that have Spotify. 
And then I normally only go after the top 1%. Sometimes I'll split this up into two different groups just so that I have a bigger audience size and I'll do 1% and 2%. Um, that doesn't really matter. I wouldn't recommend going all the way up to 10% because you're just gonna get too many people and it's gonna be a little bit too broad. Now, if when you do this, if it only brings up like a million people or something, then that's where you wanna start expanding it out. But I think mine is about 14 million people just for 1%, which is more than enough. If you have around 10 million people, that's probably the size that you you want to aim for. You can do a little less, you can do a little more, but 10 million is what I've found has been the best number to aim for. Now, when you go ahead and create your campaign and you set up this audience, you're gonna do it just like any other campaign that you'd create. I always run conversion campaigns because I find they're the most effective. And when I jump over to my ad set and I get to select my audience, all I'm gonna do is search for my existing created audience, which is my Instagram lookalike. Uh, this one right here, the top 1%. So as I said, it is Currently only 400,000 people, but that's because I selected Canada for some reason. So if I get rid of Canada and I go worldwide, it's about 13 million people, which is great. That's close to the 10 million that I think is the range that I want to aim for, anywhere 10 to 20 million. But like I said, in that 10 million range, and it's gonna say that I'm reaching 3,000 to 10,000 people a day for just $20. Now, I typically run about $10 a day on my own ad campaigns. You'll see here the one that I currently have going is this Lights Out remix. And I've been running $10 a day for 10 days. So only $100 marketing budget on this entire single release, and it's already got me 319 uh, conversion results. So this means that 319 people have clicked on my DistroKid Hyperfollow page and then clicked on the Spotify link to go listen to the song. So that seems like a really, really great rate to me. If it's only gonna cost me 30 cents to get somebody to click all the way through to this page, and this has resulted in a lot more than just streams or just clicks onto this page. We've actually got about 30 or 40 followers in the past 10 days just from running this campaign on Spotify, and on Instagram, we've got double that, about 60 or 70 brand new followers because I've been all in the DMs on Instagram. Now, that is the next step of this process. Running the ads and setting up your audience just like this is only one half. The next part comes up to you to make sure that you're engaging and helping Facebook convert these people over to listens. So let me show you exactly what I've been doing on my phone every single day. So if I go ahead and open up my Instagram page here and go to my notifications, you will see that I'm getting all of these likes on this video on the right hand side here. And this video is actually the ad that I'm running. And so if I click on others down by liked my post, these are all the people who have liked this ad through Instagram. So all that I do basically is I'm going to follow these people and if it's not a requested account, I'm going to go ahead and send them a message. I'm going to say, hey, my name's Cody. This is my band Bellevue. Notice that you liked this video of this song on Instagram and was wondering if you want to check it out on Spotify. Be sure to let me know what you think. And drop them a link to the song and more times than not, they're going to hit you back with a message. So you see here, I have a new message from someone in Indonesia actually. I sent him this nice little message and I don't normally recommend using templated messages, but I'm sending out anywhere from 50 to 100 messages a day. And so I do do a lot of copy and paste, which I don't like to do. I'll normally try to spice it up by adding someone's name or including where I'm from. But you'll see more than just when they click on it and say, hey, I like your song, I try to start up a conversation. So this is just the beginning of one right now. He said he liked it, and so I started asking where he's from. And he happens to be from Indonesia, which is really, really cool. So one cool thing about running Facebook ads is you're gonna target people who are outside of your own personal reach. I don't know anybody in Indonesia. I don't know how to get in contact with anybody from Indonesia, but Facebook does. And Facebook is gonna send them my music and send them an ad for the song and prompt me who I can contact to try to get my music heard by more people. And that person from Indonesia, Mohammed, I believe his name was, is a great example of that. Facebook ran an ad to him. He liked the post on Facebook and then I got a notification saying that he liked it. So I was able to follow him, send him a message and make sure that he goes over to Spotify and listens to it. And now from here, I'm gonna chat with him a little bit. I'm gonna tell him we're from Canada, um, ask him what he liked about the song and then I'm gonna go ahead and ask him to follow us on Spotify. And there's totally nothing wrong with this. This is actually a great way to help build fans. I'm not, this isn't just a one and done thing. I'm not just gonna send this message and hope they click on it and if they reply, never answer back. 
I'm trying to create fans here, long lasting fans. Next time I put out a song, I wanna make sure that Muhammad is listening to that song on Spotify as well. And this process is gonna go on and on and on until I grow my fan base even bigger. So this is one great way that you can use Facebook ads and Instagram to help really up your engagement, not only on Instagram and on Facebook, but also on Spotify. All these people are gonna convert right over to Spotify and that's why I recommend running this target audience with a Spotify conversion campaign because it seems to work really, really well for me. Now, I wanna know, what do you think about Facebook ad campaigns in general? This is only something that I've started doing this year, but the results have been absolutely amazing and I have no plans of slowing down. Drop me a comment down below. I reply to pretty much every single comment, so I'd love to start a conversation with you. And I wanna know, do you want me to do a breakdown tutorial of how to create these ads and how to create these ad campaigns? Also drop a comment, let me know if that's something that you'd like to see and I could totally do that. So I hope you found this video really helpful in how to create the best target audience and really use Instagram and your following on Instagram to its max. This has worked really well for me and of all the target audiences that I've ran, this has been the most effective. I'm gonna keep testing out more and I'll give you updates if I find something that works even better. But for now, this is my go-to and where I'm pouring most of my money into. So if you did find this video helpful and you think it's gonna improve your Facebook ads in the future, be sure to drop a like down below, make that little thumbs up button turn blue, really helps up me in the channel, gets this video seen by many more people. And if you wanna stay up to date with more music related content just like this, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.